I'm Laura Barto, and I want to welcome you to the second um, video on celebration. This particular video features a beautiful collection of designer series paper called Paper Blooms. I absolutely love this collection, and it goes beautifully with our in color assorted cardstock. Now, you know Stampin' Up! and that Stampin' Up! doesn't start just there at that coordination. They also selected a stamp set and dies, and this one is Pretty Perennials, and these are the Perennial Petals dies that cut out so many of the shapes um, here as well as on the paper. So you are just gonna love seeing how this all goes together. I've created two cards for you to just get a taste of um, how to put some of these things together. So let's get started. Well, these are just such fun cards to make and I just can't tell you how happy it makes me to make these cards and I'm so excited about sending them as well. Um, everybody needs some happy in their lives. Um, this card is made with products um, that would come together to make a $50 purchase and um, get the paper free. And this one is um, a few additional products and this would get you um, $100 and uh, get the paper free as well as um, another choice from Celebration. And this Heal Your Heart stamp set might be a great one to add in um, for your second choice, although we have so many things to choose from. It's hard to decide. So let me show you a little bit about how these cards go together. Um, one of them uses the dies that are matching here um, with the Pretty Perennial stamp set. So both of them use the stamp set and then the second one uses some of the dies as well um, with this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Um, a couple of the dies that I need, I need this um, leaf die and I need the flower cutout die and I need this other little uh, single leaf die and I'll show you some of the things that um, I can do with those. So let me set the rest of the dies aside. I wanted to give you a really good look at this paper. Oh my goodness. Um, I love the colors. I love all of the, um, the different sizes, some smaller patterns and bigger patterns. Great ways to mix, mix and match your, um, your project for your projects. So I'm gonna set the designer series paper aside right now. Um, I wanted to show you what um, what the best cardstock would be to purchase with that. Um, this is our in color cardstock. This is the cardstock that's labeled um, 2019 to 2021, um, and these colors will be going out of our line um, in May this year. So you want to grab them now so that they coordinate with your paper. Um, so in, in color cardstock. You'll also need some of our basic white cardstock um, for your stamping and things like that. So those are the things you need as well as the stamp set and a few other embellishments and things. I have it all written out for you. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you um, how to put this um, quick card together. Um, this is our first card that we're gonna do and that's this one right here. And I just need to do some very quick stamping. Um, I'm gonna stamp the word happy in my Knight of Navy ink. And I just love this large um, word. I can just do so many things with it. So we're just gonna do happy birthday. So I'm gonna put the word happy right a little bit um, above the center so I know I have room for that little birthday to go in. And then here's my little birthday words. Let's see, I've got those. Yes, I've got those on a smaller block. And I like that because I can um, look at that and really position that really well right along the bottom edge of my paper. So there we go. That's all there is as far as stamping for this particular card. Um, when we put this card together, we've got our basic card base, and then we've got a little bit of um, seaside spray and the piece of designer paper going right there. And then another piece of designer paper, and I've just done a little um, cutting on the edge to do a little flag end on that. And then this piece, I love to put these on with dimensionals, and that would just go right there with dimensionals. And so you can see here's the finished card. Just such a simple, pretty card to make. And that you can all do by just getting the stamp set, um, one color of ink, and some assorted cardstock, and you are good to go. But of course, 
there's always more. More coordination, more fun things to do. So let me show you the second card and a couple of the details that you can do with that one. So what we've added for this one is we've added some of these um, die cut pieces, um, both the leaves and this little leafy thing, and we've done a little more stamping and added another ink color. The ink color here is Rococo Rose, and I wanna show you how um, we're going to do some of that die cutting as well as some of that stamping. So here are my pieces um, that I have ready for this card. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get this little um, Rococo Rose piece stamped. And so I have my ink out already. And these photopolymer stamps are just so easy to use, but I do like to use them on a nice um, foam pad. And this is our paper pierce mat um, that we have. So here we go, we're just gonna stamp that in the Rococo Rose right in the center there. Isn't that just so pretty? I love how it has the light and dark details in there. It makes it just look so much more alive. And then of course I've got my navy little center to go on there and I'll just pop that right in the center. And isn't that just great? I love how it's got a little bit of the white showing there. Um, so that's all we need to do for that piece. But I wanted to show you something else about this designer series paper. Now, this particular piece of designer series paper looks a little bit different than you might think of. Um, it's got this pattern on the other side, and on this side, this was specifically designed so that these dies could cut out shapes that are part of the, of the, of the paper. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out a leaf shape, um, and we're gonna cut out designer series paper from this piece as well. And I wanna show you with my die cut machine just how easy that is to do. So I'm going to bring in my die cut machine, scoot this over a little bit, and scoot my inks out of the way, and um, get my die cut machine all ready to go. <clears throat> so here it is. This is our brand new die cut machine. I just love this machine. I love how it works. Um, it's got a couple of layers to it. So it's got a base layer and that base layer has a number one on it. And then for cutting, I need a number two and then I also need a number three. So I'm gonna put all those three layers as my base. And then I'm gonna put my pieces on here that I want to die cut. So I'm gonna set my flower here. I just have to figure out which way this one goes. So I'm just gonna kind of turn it around until I see that it matches. Not, there we go. I think that matches perfectly just like that. So I'm gonna set that there um, on the piece. I'm also going to put um, this piece. This is the piece that I've already die cut one of those um, leaves out of. And I'm gonna die cut my second leaf right there. And then I have one more thing to add, and that is my designer series paper um, that has this little strip on it. Here we are. And you can see I've already cut one leaf out, but I need to cut another one out. So I'm just gonna quick um, make this a little bit smaller so that my leaf is ready to go. And I can slide that in right here on my plate. So you can see one pass through the die cut machine and I can do all of these pieces at a time. I always want to have a cutting plate underneath and I've got my cutting plate on top. So I'm just going to put that on top. Just check and make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be and they are and just roll it through. This is so smooth. The, I just love how smooth this is with the cutting. This works out really well and then I can take all of this out and here I've got my pieces. So you can see I've got my flower that's been die cut. And just look at how beautifully that matches because it's just designed to go with that. I've got my leaves here um, from my designer series paper and I can just push out some of these little pieces so that that's ready to go. Isn't that a beautiful piece? And then I've got my other little leaf here as well. So I'll get that out. So here we are, it's hiding under here. And so there's my little leaf that I've got cut out. So I've got those pieces all cut out and ready to go. Put my dies away so I don't lose them. And we'll go ahead and put this card together. So we've got another, this is the um, Seaside Spray card base. And then we'll go with a white. And then this is a designer series paper, of course. That's on one side and this is on the other. We'll put another piece of designer series paper right here. So we're ready to go there. And I need to do just a little bit of stamping. I've got my greeting piece here. 
and we'll go back to that happy that we had before. Um, just put that little happy on here. And this one says, you make me happy. And I'm gonna use two colors for that today because we can. I just love how this is all um, coordinated to, to come together. So I've got my happy, and then I've got um, you make me. I'm using Rococo Rose ink for that. And I did put it on a little bit bigger block just so I could really see and line that up perfectly um, on this so it matches. I just love how this nestles together. I think that's a really fun look. So my card base looks like this. And then I'll just pop this down and I'll use a few, I'll use a little ink and some dimensionals and then tuck in my little leaf right here. Oh, I did forget one thing. I did want to add a couple more flowers. Let me grab those um, down here on this just because I can add a little more pizzazz to this by adding a little flower. There we go. Now I feel much better about this card. So I've got more of that depth looking. So here I've got my little leaf up here. I've got my flowers there. And then just to be a little, just to add one more bit of excitement, I'm going to add a couple of these rhinestones. I think they add so much. I can use my take a pick tool to help pull those up and kind of stick on there and kind of get those positioned. So I want to have one of those right here in the middle of that flower. Oh goodness, you would think I'd be better at this. It's getting away from me. Well, let me just pop it down there. Can't get away from me too far. And then um, let's grab a couple more over here. Put one up here. I think we'll do one up there. And I think we'll put another one like kind of down here. Well, there we go. And I'll bring the finished one back in place. And you can see, isn't that just a beautiful, happy card? Well, I hope you enjoy getting this um, Paper Blooms Designer Series paper as one of your free celebration items this year.